Hat or no hat? Hat or no hat? Hat or no hat? Screw it, bro. We gonna have an hat. We gonna have a hat. We gonna have a hat. Stop it. Get some help. What's up, guys? Hope you guys are having a good Friday. You know what I'm saying? My Friday is decent. Haven't been able to get much sleep the last two days because, you know what I'm saying? I be getting them gains, you know what I'm saying? Boy, if you don't get... I don't know why the hell I cannot sleep, even though I take sleep medication already. But that's a story for another day. Um, Yeah, it's Friday. Hope you guys can chill, relax, watch this video. You know what I'm saying? And let's just overall have a good time. We got the rest of the Reptile Room Tour. And yeah, if you haven't seen part one, go check it out. It was a freaking fail. It's titled How Not to Fail My Reptile Room Tour. And yeah, that was just a huge disaster, if I do say so myself. But we got part two. It's a new day. Um, and yeah, I'm really hyped to film this part of the video. In the last video, I showed you mostly this half of my room. You know what I'm saying? All of this area. And... For this video right now, I'm going to be showing you behind y'all and a little bit of stuff over here. So, hope you guys are going to be really into that. Uh, I got more invertebrates than reptiles, to be honest, to show you. I have a few reptiles still, but if you're more into reptiles, you should go watch the first part of the video. So, I mean, yeah, the first part of the video. Yeah, I said it right, dude. I'm not dumb. Yeah, I said it right, dude. I'm not dumb. <laughs> okay. But... Before we get into this video, I gotta do the shout outs real quick. So let's get into that. And if you wanna be in the shout out for next video, just comment down below, bro. I'll shout you out. Like, I'm just such a giving person, you know what I'm saying? I'm just like the most amazing person you'll ever meet. And if you were you and I was I, that made no sense. I'm gonna go and die. Let's just, let's just do the shout outs, bro. Roll the freaking clip. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. So, Fabian Basira, Basira, oh, dude, I'm so sorry if I pronounce your name wrong. I'm kind of dumb. Okay, we got Lino, Pepino, Pepino, dude, I'm sorry as well. Matut, Lino, Pepino, Matut, Lino, Pepino, okay, guys, we got Leo Castro, we got Oliver Flores, we got Logan Tibbs, yeah, you heard me right, Logan Tibbs, and Game Boy, galaxy so yeah guys thank you for commenting asking for that shout out i got you and overall thank you for commenting on my video because it helps me out it helps you out maybe i don't know like you're getting your word out there yeah this is getting this video bro i'm done with this so first things first obviously it ain't a reptile room tour if you don't show off or tore off your room you know what i'm saying so we got this little trophy area because i'm a freaking amazing human being and i'm just so gangster that's the alligator lizard that passed away yes i did preserve it i ended up doing it and i just didn't feel like making a video on it so yeah there he is but other than that we got a bunch of invertebrates right here and then right here we got one more reptile we got the hissing roaches some scorpions i mean one scorpion and some scorpions some well a lot of freaking scorpions here let's peep one right now is there one right there I could see? Is there one right there I could see? Where the hell are the scorpions? Oh, there's one moving around. Okay, guys. So first up, we got a Vietnamese forest scorpion. And yeah, I'm pretty sure I've showed him off a few times on my channel before. But this is just pretty much a little update on him. I did just feed him. Wait, no, I didn't. I just lied. So I tried feeding him earlier today. He didn't take it. So, wait, no, I did. Yeah, I pre-killed it somewhere. And I left it in the tank, but I don't see it anywhere, so I believe he's eaten it. Yeah, I think he has. But I... That was... Okay, little stick right there for y'all. But I have been feeding him, you know what I'm saying? I've been giving him some pre-killed. He hasn't been really eating live. So he's just been scavenging off stuff that I pre-kill. And yeah, he's been getting really, really fat, as y'all can see. Since he did molt a couple days ago. Here, I actually have, this, have the molt saved, which I think is pretty cool. Might as well show you this. So, yeah, I have this picture frame. And right in there is one of my alligator lizards shed. And he's kind of flipping me off. Yeah. He's really out here flipping me off. <laughs> we got this guy's freaking molt. Chilling. 
next to this guy's freaking shed. So, yeah, I just think that's cool. Maybe it'll inspire any of you guys to want to maybe copy my idea and do this because I want to actually put a centipede molt right here. My blue tiger centipede, I think would be cool. And I actually did have my Vietnamese centipede molt for me, but I ended up not putting it in here because I didn't even think about it because I was more excited that it freaking molted. So yeah, maybe if it molts again, I'll stick it in here if I have enough room or I'll just get another picture frame and stick it in there. But let's move on to another species. Okay guys, so next up we got my Black Widows. We got one in here and I actually do need to feed it, but I kind of want to save it for a TikTok video that I'm going to be filming later today. So I'm sorry I can't show you guys this off right now of me feeding it, but we got a lot of freaking animals. So it would just take up too much time, but I'm not trying to edit a freaking 30 minute long video. It's Friday, bro. I'm trying to vibe. Say that I'm trying to vibe, but literally I have no place to be. I have nowhere to go. I have no friends to hang out with, so... What the hell am I even talking about? But this is my other Black Widow. Um, this is the one that crawled on my finger and scared me. Made me scream like a little girl. So, yeah, that's always cool to know. And these are her eggs. I just fed her yesterday. The video will be up on TikTok as well. Later today, I think. I don't even know. Like, I just... I don't even know at this point. But, yeah, look at those freaking... Look at those eggs. You can't really see the individual eggs, but you can see the egg sac for sure. And yeah, this is the Black Widow. She's in this normal setup container um, just to make sure that none of the babies get out because they lay a lot of freaking babies and the babies are hella freaking small. Like when I say small, I'm talking small, bruh. And I'm not trying to have a bunch of Black Widows just chilling in my room because who the hell would want to deal with that? So yeah. Black Widow. In this tank right here, I actually have one of my favorite pets. And you guys are probably like, yeah, don't mind the freaking duct tape. I kind of cracked my freaking tank. So yeah, we got that booth set up. You know what I'm saying? It's your boy Ghetto Chris here. But look at this. And it's kind of sad, bruh. And you guys are probably like, what are you talking about, bruh? What's sad? You got this amazingly beautiful Prey Mantis. How can you be sad? Well, I'll tell you why I'm freaking sad, bruh. She is on her deathbed. She is so close to dying, dude. It's not even funny. I literally, probably three or four times a week, I'll find her in an enclosure, just laying on her back, stuck, not moving. And I always think, damn it, bruh, it happened. It happened. And then I pick her up, and then she's just slow moving. Like, could barely hang on. So she is super close to dying. Prey Mantis says you should not be able to just touch them like this. This isn't normal behavior. It's because she is literally on her deathbed. And yeah, they don't live that long. So it's not because of care or anything. She already laid her eggs. Here, I'll show you guys that real quick. Then, yeah, so this is the egg sac that she laid. Yeah, that thing right there. Those are the eggs. Look at that. You can't tell me that freaking isn't cool. You can't tell me that freaking isn't cool. What am I saying? Do I even English? Like for real. But look at that, dude. A little close up macro shot of what the hell Primantis egg sacs look like. Yeah. Now we got the Primantis right here, and just look at her, dude. She's just staying still. You could tell she's barely alive, not really. And yeah, man, she's she's really close to expiring. And I'm still not sure what the hell I should do with her body when she passes. I have been looking into resin, like having her do a resin mold all around her so then i could have like this block pretty much the size of her that is just that just encased her how she is it's like a window back into when she was alive but i don't know how to freaking do stuff with resin bruh i i literally do you not see what the hell i built over here bro what is that yeah man like i do not know how to do that the second thing i would be able to do is pinning I haven't done much research into that. I don't want to do it just because it's going to be really time consuming and I have nowhere to store a fragile pinned insect. But with like a resin mold or whatever, it would just be like this thick cube that's just clear with this in and I could just store that anywhere. I could just stick that up on that wall right there. Oh, so, yeah, I'm going to do more research. Um, if the resin thing ends up not being too hard or too complicated, I'll try it. I just really do not want to mess up her body. So... 
yeah, guys, if you want to see a video on that, let me know. She's straight up vibing on the beat. Let's get a little, little face view. What's up, girl? Yeah. And so with her enclosure, it's real minimalistic. We have just a rock, you know what I'm saying? Adds that aesthetic, some coconut fiber. They are a desert species of mantis. This is actually the California mantis or the North Carolina mantis, whatever. It's, it's really hard for me to tell if I'm being honest. Um, I'm in California, so I'm just gonna go with it's the California mantis. And yeah, this is a little cork bark area. I put it in there just so she could climb and it was a good spot for her to lay her eggs. I knew she was gonna lay her eggs on that piece of cork bark. So yeah, that's her enclosure and all that. Let's put her back and bring something else out. Next up, we got the Vietnamese giant centipede. And honestly, I do not want to dig for it because I've been stressing it out lately. I just got it to eat. I fed it a superworm and I fed it a hissing roach, but I didn't film either one of those takedowns. Yeah, I'm just horrible at what I do. So since I was so mad that I didn't film either one of them, while I was eating the hissing roach, I was like, you know what, screw it. I'm gonna dig for it and I'm gonna get a video for y'all. And yeah, that kind of just messed things up. Oh, you can see the legs right there. So that's where it is, guys. And yeah, it's in this pretty decently sized um, container. If you guys seen my how to make containers for reptiles video or something like that, invertebrates, um, I pretty much bought this from Dollar Tree. So we got cheap 99 price tag on this freaking setup. And yeah, overall, it's been doing great. So, yeah, let's move on to another species real quick. Next up, we got these two things right here. First up, we got this bark scorpion, literally just fed her. And I know it's a her because she gave birth. Hey, yo, chill. Why are you escaping right now, bruh? Yo, 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 get down, get down. Six and a half hours later. Good. Okay, okay. So yeah, this is my bark scorpion from California, wild caught. And she gave birth to all the freaking babies that I have that I'll show you later on in this video. But yeah, bro, I got a freaking lot and I have not been able to sell them. So yeah, and I think possibly if you guys look at this right. Oh, so now you're going to fall off the thing. Huh? If you go into that goddamn hide, I swear. Okay, thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, before. Yeah, that's the roach that she was feeding on earlier. But look, you see that right there, guys? Those white things. I believe that to be eggs that are going to be regrowing. I'm not 100% sure. And I also do believe that this species of scorpion is one that is asexual or is able to reproduce its own offspring without a male or insemination, whatever the hell that word is. But yeah, just, just freaking look at those purple pincers, bro. Okay, so next up, we got my blue tiger centipede and I do not want to dig for him either just because he has been just amazing for me guys literally amazing and what i mean by that is he's been taking down food for me whenever the hell i wanted him to it used to be that he went on a hunger strike for a fat minute like i don't want to say a month or two i might be exaggerating i might be under exaggerating i'm not sure i didn't keep count of the days but he would just be not in the mood to eat but he's finally been established into captivity for long enough and has had little stress on him so that, that when he's up on the surface, that means it's food time, bruh. If I see him up on the surface, he's hungry. And I feed him and he'll eat every single time. If he ain't on the surface, then he's chilling, bruh. He's either, maybe he'll be in molt. Maybe he's just chilling, trying to get away from the light. Who knows? And I'm not trying to go digging for him because once you put a, a bug under stress, it's not going to want to eat for you, okay? Its main objective is going to be to live. So if there's a bunch of... I'm saying all this while I'm freaking just destroying his habitat. Anyways, you guys know what the hell I'm talking about, okay? It's just common sense. So I'm gonna put this back and yeah, let's move on to something else. Okay guys, so in this container right here, this is the isopod mix container or not the isopod mix container, but a mix of a bunch of different isopods in one container. And yeah, as y'all can see, that's that blue stuff. <laughs> Smells pretty freaking weird. But that's the oh my god the blue stuff that was on the other piece of cork bark in the centipede and yeah look at that they're actually munching on it as we speak um you can see there's some springtails in there as well that white thing that's crawling around that's a springtail and yeah there's a bunch of isopods in here they got pretty basic colors um there's a little bit of green you could see 
and the one on the far left yeah we got the normal roly polies right there the ones that roll up into balls that i'm pretty sure if you're into animals and watching my video you probably played with those as a kid because i know i sure as hell did what right over here if we lift this up there should be more yeah boy we got a lot we got a little baby that was running up in there you see the little baby and what else is in here bro i think that's it there's just main ice mainly isopods and yeah there's another roly-poly with those green dots and all these isopods were caught from the wild bro believe it or not those color formations are out chilling in the wild and also something cool about isopods all those colors that you see you know what i'm saying that people sell like the dairy cow the powdery orange all them junks they started off from one person finding one that looked oddly weird from a random mutation in the wild and then they just bred that more and more and more until they had a colony that was just all that one color which is kind of kind of amazing when you think about it and i'm not working on any breeding project with these guys right here i'm mainly just keep them as a hobbyist and whenever i like to throw in isopod isopods into a tank i don't like just grabbing them from the wild what i'll do is i'll grab them from the wild stick them in something like this have them get used to being captive for about like a really long time like three or four months before sticking them in with reptiles because you just don't want to stick wild stuff in with your reptile because of diseases or whatever the hell who knows they might be having some i don't know worms in their stomach dude who the hell knows bro it's just the wild nature's a freaking butthole dog it's just the wild nature's a freaking butthole dog sometimes dude sometimes nature nature beyond that bull crap huh what the hell am i even talking about bro are people even gonna watch this video so in here this is my australian whites tree frog and yeah this isn't his permanent enclosure whatsoever i just have him in here temporarily until i can move around a few animals real quick because yeah i'm always getting and giving away reptiles and all that good stuff but yeah i'm gonna be putting him into a 10 gallon pretty soon maybe even a 20 gallon i'm not sure yet but yeah, just for the time being, this enclosure has been working just fine for him. We got a piece of cork bark, as you can see right here. Spray this down once a day. Got some peat moss or sphagnum moss. I don't even remember at this point, dude. And then we got his water dish that I got to change out because he's always hopping in and out of there. So, yeah. Look at this dude, though, bruh. Look at this freaking dude. He is just beautiful and green. I do need to feed him today, but I'm going to be doing that off camera because I don't want this video to be 30 minutes long. Don't know why I'm still talking. He got a rock also. And yeah, more sphagnum moss with some coconut fiber. That's his little habitat. Now let's move on to something else. Can I boop you? Can I boop you? Boop. Chill sticky ass. Yeah. This video is getting a little bit too long, so I'm going to have to hit y'all with the speed round. So in here, we got my Thailand Black. I don't really be seeing him too much because he's not that active. He's only active at night. And yeah, he has a little burrow thing right here. He's able to enter and exit through. Just spray down his enclosure, you know what I'm saying? Still a little bit dry in there, but it has some moisture. Just gave him some new water. And yeah, that's my Thailand Black. Okay, so next up in here, we got the Costa Rican Strike Knee. Um, she's been on a hunger strike lately. I'm just gonna do this for the one time. Yeah, she's been on a freaking hunger strike lately. And there's a roach in there that I just dropped in. Hopefully she'll eat it. Probably not though. I'll check back later today. If she doesn't eat it, then yeah, I'll take it out of there. And yeah, that's the coat freaking strike me. Need to change out her substrate because look at that freaking nasties, bruh. Ugh. Yeah, get her a new water dish. But let's check out something else real quick. Before my brain mentally gets... I want to die. Last bit of the speed round. Which one should I pick? Uh, Let me just pick this guy. Okay, let's bring him over here. And yeah, if the video quality all of a sudden got much better, um, let me know because... I just realized that I could just stick the ring light directly above, which make, makes things so much easier to freaking film. And yeah, I'm kind of dumb guys, but there's one of the scorpions. I showed you the mom earlier, the California bark scorpion. And yeah, this is one of the offspring. I got a bunch, as I already said before. So yeah, not much to these guys anymore. Yeah, they're in these little deli cups. What else, what else, what else? Oh, I feed them once a week. And yeah, they've been doing good. In here, we got the freaking hissing cockroaches. Um, There is a bunch of them, as y'all can see. And earlier, we had a bunch of white little babies chilling in here. I think they've darkened up so far. 
because yeah, one of the hissing cockroaches gave birth again. So yeah, I got a freaking bunch more. Um, yeah, here's another side of them. And it looks to be the black tigers. Oh my gosh, I'm so hyped guys. Yeah, so the hissing cockroaches gave birth to these ones, the ones that look much more cool. So I'm freaking hyped for that. And yeah, this is the hissing roach little tank over here. I already showed you where it's located in my room. So now in here, guys, we got one of my boas. This is my Colombian red tail boa. Yeah, freaking beautiful. Look at this freaking beast of a goddamn snake. Uh, I just fed it a fuzzy. She's kind of alert. This is her little setup. She has some sticks over here. Um, the light goes right on top of this stick right here. So she's able to bask if she wants to. And she actually thinks that there's gonna be food right now. So I don't want to, I don't want her to strike me. So I gotta be careful for that while I'm filming this. Even though a snake, a bite from her right now wouldn't hurt too much, but it'll still, it wouldn't be cool. And I don't want her to get into the cycle of thinking that food's gonna be coming every single time I open this tank. Because once she's really big and she still thinks that way, I could seriously get injured from a bite, from a snake bite when this girl is freaking full grown. So yeah, I gotta watch out for that. And yeah, got this water dish that, they, that she literally does not use. The reason why that's still in there is because just in case I spray her down and she'll literally drink off of her, not out of the water dish, only off of her. If the water drops ain't on her body, she ain't drinking. So yeah, that's pretty much all I gotta say for her. We got the millipede container and there only seems to be one millipede out and about right now, which is one of the Philippine pink foot millipedes. And yeah, I'm about to spray this container out. There's a bunch of freaking oak mites or wood mites in here that I probably need to get rid of. So I'm gonna be doing that within the next week or so. Look at that, bro. What the f Damn. I have not noticed that there's been this much, bro. God damn, they're eating on all that decaying leaf and wood matter that's in this freaking tank. Yeah, I need to switch out the substrate soon, bro, ASAP. Just in a week, look how much the mites have infested. That's how fast the mites are able to breed and stuff, bro. Jesus Christ. So yeah, there's one millipede right there. Okay, guys, so in here, this is my tarantula. Um, one of the many tarantulas I have. Psych, I only have three. Yeah, sucks to suck, and I suck. But yeah, this is my salmon pinkfoot tarantula, I believe. See if I can get a better shot for y'all. Um, I can't really. This is its tank. There's a freaking roach that it should have ate, but looks like it's gonna be going on a hunger strike, so I'm gonna take that out. And yeah, the only reason why I left it in with it is because it literally just molted like a month ago, so I'm sure it's not gonna molt again. But just in case, I will take it out. And yeah, there's this water dish right there. Um, webbed up a decent amount all around here. It's dug out this little area where it's been chilling. As y'all can see, I got this freaking Sambo right here. Pretty minimalistic setup. I do want to touch on her real quick because I haven't talked about her in a fat minute. Yeah, she still hasn't eaten for me, bro. She has still not eaten for me. Yes, it's been a freaking long freaking time. And she is still stubborn as hell, not eating. So I'm either thinking of exchanging her for another Sambo from the breeder and hopefully he could get her to eat or maybe waiting it out another week. But I'm kind of scared because she does look a little bit skinny. I don't know yet, guys. Let me know what you guys think. And yeah, bro, I am still kind of concerned with her, but I just I just really hope that nothing bad happens to her. Yeah, she has a minimalistic setup. She got a heat mat right over here. She's chilling right under that heat mat. Here, let me show y'all real quick. Yeah, y'all can see the heat mat right there, but I don't know why I just didn't show you guys the side of the tank. I'm kind of dumb. But anyways, yeah, that's her. We got my freaking Rosie Boa, and she's actually just chilling in my closet because, yeah, I've been running out of space for a long time. But look at those freaking colors. This is the male Rosie Boa. Got the cool hide, got the water dish, got the warm hide, got some aspen shedding, chilling as her substrate. And yeah, I just fed her as well yesterday, so she's probably out there digesting her food. Him, I mean, I don't know why I keep on calling it a her. Maybe because how freaking beautiful her colors are. But yeah, I don't know what else to say about her. I'm pretty sure I've talked about, I said her again. I'm pretty sure I've talked about him plenty of times on this channel. So yeah, let's go on to the next thing. Remember guys, we are still, I just broke my freaking fan. I am an idiot. Remember guys, we are still on freaking speed mode, bro. 
Seriously, speed mode. So Let's get into this. So in this container right here, um, we got the Halloween moon crab. There's a bunch more freaking scorpions chilling on this container because I ran out of storage for all the freaking scorpions I have. Yeah, let's just move this away real quick. You know what I'm saying? Speed, speedy Gonzalez time. And yeah, this is what the enclosure for my freaking Halloween moon crab is looking like. Um, I put more cashews in there and as you can see, she'll literally just pick them up, eat them a little bit, a little bit and then throw them on the ground. So I'm constantly spot cleaning this goddamn tank for mold. And I like to use cashews because the cashew itself will get moldy, but not like the actual dirt around it. But yeah guys, that's what she's looking like right now. She's beautiful as can be. She doesn't pinch me or anything like that. Um, she did molt for the first time with me a while back. Not too long back, I'd probably say like a week or so. And yeah, she has a little entrance right there, another entrance right here, and her water dish. So that's freaking cool. Oh my gosh, that was a freaking, oh. Whoa, that was a freaking battle, dude. You don't even understand, okay. Literally, when I started filming this video, my phone was at 100%. It's at 5% now. I need to hurry up and start. What? I just realized my light is pit. Okay. Okay, let's, let's fix. Let's fix the quality of the video real quick. Because as y'all could probably see, or as y'all probably noticed, towards the end of the freaking video, bruh, can someone tell me why the video quality just started getting worse and worse and worse. It's because honestly guys, I just got more and more lazy and annoyed with filming this video. I don't like, why am I telling you this? Who the hell knows? What I'm just trying to convey for y'all, I was gonna show off the freaking roach colonies, you know what I'm saying? My continental roaches and my dubia roaches, but I already got videos, like a whole video dedicated to both those things. So there's no reason to. And yeah, I'm kind of, just worn out with filming this video. I still gotta edit it and do all that type of stuff. So yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed. I know I enjoyed filming it, even though towards the end it was getting a little bit <sighs> annoying. Jesus Christ. But yeah, like, comment, subscribe, do all that YouTube stuff, and I'll see you on the next one. Late. Chill vibes. Goodbye. Psych late! Stop it. Get some help. I actually pulled my neck. Okay, goodbye guys. I'm a I'm gonna go kill myself.